Now we have the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. In 2014, which platform will have the best games for you? Over the past seven months in the Gaming Wars playlist, we've covered the announcements, hardware chip architectures, the whole DRM and used games drama, and the final specs before launch. But I wanted to reserve this 20th episode of Gaming Wars to look at the heart and soul of every single gaming platform, and the source of most of the industry's revenues, the video games. In the same way there are many different movie genres, there are also many distinct video game genres distinguishing the unique types of gameplay that appeal to different types of gamers. Over the years, as the hardware improved, so did the quality of games and the diversity of gaming genres. Now let's cover what I think will be the top selling games over the next year. A strong gaming platform must have something for every gamer. And since this cycle of consoles is more standardized than most previous generations, there is a healthy library of great multi-platform games that you can play on both the Xbox One and the PS4. We have the music genre, a massive multiplayer online world, and an interesting sequel RPG from Bioware built on EA's new Frostbite 3 engine. Even though the platform genre is not as popular as it once was, these games will fill that niche for the young at heart and casual gamers who just want to run and jump through obstacles solving puzzles. I grew up playing these types of games. Sports games have also come a long way. Besides more beautiful graphics and textures, EA's new gaming engine introduces better AI, more realistic physics, and a more responsive and dynamic stadium audience, improving the realism. However, the action genre includes the most popular types of games today. This large category is broken up into several subgenres. The stealth subgenre, where the players are encouraged to hide and advance undetected through the game, will benefit from the increased realism of native 1080p textures and larger worlds. The flagships include a game about an Irish hacker vigilante fighting for justice in an age of information warfare, a master thief who steals from the corrupt tyrants who are pillaging his medieval steampunk-inspired hometown, and lastly, Snake will be back in two games that promise to introduce a more open-world design to the series. The action role-playing genre blends elements of action and real-time gameplay to give players more direct control over their characters as they hack and slash, shoot, or race through the game. This third installment uses a new engine that hopes to improve the experience of roaming a medieval world by eliminating loading screens. This classic series will try to regain its past glory by breaking from past storylines to create a darker, more realistic place in the middle of a great war for the last remaining crystal in the world. And I'm really looking forward to introducing Sora, Riku, Donald Duck, Goofy, and Mickey Mouse to the younglings in my family. Switching gears for a second, this racing game lets you play as an undercover cop, while this motorcycle game should also be lots of fun. But during the last generation of consoles, shooters made the most money. Among the sequels, you can join Team Rainbow to stop the vigilantes threatening Wall Street, or play as a special ops soldier fighting in future battles between Russia, China, and the US, or fighting in South America against a strong oil-producing superpower, or even in a post-nuclear war world of Mad Max, where scarce ammo requires some creative weapon-making skills. But the three games I'm most interested in take place in an alternate history where the Nazis win World War II, a present-day disease-infested United States during the winter, and last, but definitely not least, a battle set during the best Star Wars movie produced so far. Now let's dig into the exclusives that you can only get on specific platforms. If I had to sum up the exclusive PS4 library, the focus is on story-driven adventures and indie games. Over the past several years, Sony shut down some of its own studios and now relies on smaller development teams and the indie community to build fun and quirky PlayStation games, like playing an octopus posing as a human father, or controlling the wind in a visual and auditory journey, or guiding a worm through space or a musical performer, or moving a couple characters through booby-trapped rooms. The PS4 also has a strong free-to-play library of shooters, where you can fight in a future against human clones, or in a territory-controlled open world battling against up to 2,000 other players. Sony has its own platformer, directed by Mark Cerny himself, its own sports game covering America's pastime, an exclusive racing game, its own time-traveling role-playing game set in New York circa 2094, an exclusive survival horror game set in a psychiatric hospital, a dungeon crawl story of a child fighting for survival, and its own first-person shooter set on another planet in the middle of a civil war. And Sony will continue its tradition of great storytelling through action-adventure games, 
that take place during the apocalypse, in Seattle as a superhuman fighting against the government, or in an alternate steampunk history where knights fight against half-breed monsters. Finally, let's talk Xbox One. While there aren't as many Xbox exclusives, these games in development are expensive AAA productions, including this highly anticipated first-person shooter combined with mech-style robots called Titans, an action game that will coincide with a TV show where the characters can manipulate time, an episodic game where the player can travel through time to solve his wife's murder, a tedious exercise in Roman warfare but with great visuals, a prequel set in medieval Europe with monsters, and today every platform needs a zombie game. Like the PS4, the Xbox One has its own racing games with cars or motorcycles, a side-scrolling platform game starring a young kid, something to help gamers stay fit and healthy, and to satisfy the creative urges of budding game designers. But the star of the platform may be this fighting game once all the content is released. So there you have it, a bunch of great games coming to both platforms some great indie and story-driven games only on the PS4, and some AAA action-packed shooters and fighting games only on the Xbox One. And just a reminder, many of these games are in development and may not make it all the way to Gold Master. So what games are you looking forward to? If this video helped you, and you'd like to support the channel and buy or pre-order your next game, please check the Amazon links below and save any good deals you find to your cart. Now is the time where I personally thank all the most recent subscribers. Welcome to this channel. I always read every single comment, and thanks in advance for liking and sharing these videos on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Reddit. All the work and research is fun, but it's always your comments that keep me motivated and help me plan out future episodes. If you really liked this video, click the squares from your computer or check the links below to watch related episodes, especially Gaming Wars videos that cover the PS4 and Xbox One in general. And I'd like to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for giving me a place to share my ideas, thoughts, and opinions. Thank you for helping create this community, and thank you for making this channel a reality.